Hi everybody, I'm Hazel and welcome to a new game. Um, so I put out a poll on my Twitter about what I should play next and uh, Cozy Grove won. Um, so I don't really know much about this game. Um, it's a game that my wife has started being playing recently. Um, and so I have access to it. And so it's on the list. It looks pretty cute. Um, I really like uh, this song that's going on here. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. If you're interested in um, uh, voting on the polls that I put on Twitter, um, you can go join me on Twitter um, at Hazel to Basil uh, underscores after Hazel and after and before Basil. Um, so Hazel da Basil, da being D A. <laughs> um, but yeah, that those that links around. It's down below in the basement, and it is, you know, on my profile and stuff. So you can go there. Um, also, if you want. Uh, if you want to suggest a game for me to play, um, you can put it down in the comments. Um, I also have a link to my Groovy down in the basement. And um, you can click on that. You can see what games I have and haven't played. Um, I also think there's a link to my Steam page. So you can see the games that I own on Steam and haven't played there as well. Um, so yeah, uh, if there's a game you'd like to see me play, just let me know and I will probably get to it. Um, current contenders right now, um, the ones I put against Cozy Grove were Zack McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders, which is an old LucasArts adventure game. Um, let's see. Uh, 2064 Read Only Memories, which is another game that I got in the queer pack on Steam. Um, it's Cyberpunk. And uh, the last one is Layers of Fear, which is a horror walking simulator, which I thought looked pretty cool. Um, I really like walking sims. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got on my mind, but I'm open to other things. Um, so just let me know if there's something you want me to check out. And let's get started with Cozy Grove. And also, let's look at the time so that I know how long I'm supposed to be playing this. Welcome to the Spirit Scouts. Before you head out on your first solo camping trip, fix yourself up. What's wrong with me? I've got a cool little skull lantern. And this, this hat with ears. Oh, I got to design my character. Cool. Uh, okay, here. Is this, this means what I currently have? I think we're going to go with uh, F here. Ooh, what kind? What color of big giant eyes should I have? Spirit Scout's eyes are a peculiarly unnatural sh pale shade they see beyond. I kind of like the yellow. It's like there's nothing there, especially with the blonde hair. Though I assume I can change my hair color too. Um, I like pink. Oh, purple's really nice too. This and blue I started about with as well. Ah, ghostly white. I think I'm gonna go with the yellow. Okay, all different kinds of hair. Hair, black. Short side shaved hair. Can't see it too well under the hat. Ooh. 
Your mom gave you this haircut. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should get my mom to give me a haircut. If that's what it looks like. Medium dreads. So is the hair that I have not an option? Like if I click off... Oh, it's just this one. Okay. I just missed it. Looking good. Now it's time to begin my camping trip. Oh, I have a letter. Okay. What does it say? Dear Spirit Scout, welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Okay, I assume that my provisions are in this back part here. I've also got a bunch of boxes stacked up. Looks like I have plenty of provisions, assuming they're not all empty. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You will need to be self-sufficient. Note that previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. Have fun and keep your fire burning. Scouting services. Spirit Scout motto. All those who are lost deserve kindness. Excellent. Okay. So I guess... Uh, did I just arrive in the boat? Must have. I can't go back out in it. I can't look at my provisions. Um, so in my backpack I have... Absolutely nothing. Okay. So, is this some kind of coinage? Looks like it. There's a fish there. Can I grab fish? No. Okay. Go up on the island. Play through the tutorial. Calf, calf, calf. How old are those starter logs, Scout? Tastes like a century, at least. So where have you brought us this time? So where have you brought us this time? A haunted, bear-infested island. Some place called Cozy Grove. I'm a little disoriented. Not quite sure. Some place called Cozy... Cozy Grove? I know the name. I have licked it off old brochures, tossed into my embers. <laughs> I sense dozens of wounded restless spirits here, desperate for help, but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. Ah, well, you were sent here. The scouts must have been confident you'd be up to the task. Gee, thanks. Are you ready to see what's out there beyond my firelight? I think so. Good enough. I see. The ghost of a ranger at the edge of the woods. She's been waiting there a long, long time. Don't be scared, Scout. Go introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. Okay, I guess I'm here to help. I've still got nothing in my backpack. And there's a bedroll over here and a tent. I think it's a tent. I just be not a tent. Oh, it's a bear. Mound of dirt. A mound of disturbed earth. Dig a with a shovel. Maybe if you had a shovel. Oh, I see. That's what this thing is. Okay. What about this tree? Click to talk to fellow campers. Hello. Ranger bear spirit. Oh. Powered up. Charlotte Pine. Huh. Another imaginary camper. Must have brewed my Lady Grey a little strong this morning. Unless, say, you're not a real living person, are you? Unless, say, uh, ooh, I like Guilty as Charged. Guilty as Charged? Well, I haven't heard news this exciting since the baby warblers hatched. Welcome to Camp Cozy Grove. 
I'm Charlotte, your local ranger. Also, a ghost. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. Say, that uniform of yours, it looks familiar. It's like I've got a lot of patches, too. Badges, whatever they're called. So I must be pretty experienced. That must be why they thought I could come out here and help or whatever. Oh my, you're a spirit scout. That does change the forecast a bit. Plus the sun's behind the clouds, so to speak. I'm trained to fix all your ghostly woes. Yep, that sounds like classic spirit scout propaganda. Oh, is it? You're not the first spirit scout to visit this island. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned a fire. That's not how you pronounce fire. Summoned a fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge. Tell me about them. Hmm. I see them. They're trying to start a fire. There's a couple of bears. This one looks like they're a log. And this might be uh, the pine lady. I forget her first name because I'm bad at stuff like that. Is it Charlotte? It is. It did not go as planned. No use dwelling on the past though, is there? You're here now. You're here now, friend. She's not. If you're planning to stay the night, remember the first rule of wilderness survival. Keep warm. Somewhere around here is a wood log. Ooh, a wood log. Okay. As opposed to, like, a cheese log? Plastic log? Find it and toss it on the fire. That should make things a little cozier for both of us. Okay. Drop spirit wood into the fire. Okay, but first I have to find the spirit wood. So we're going to walk around a bit. See if it's hiding behind one of these trees. Uh, this looks like... Uh, that's just the ocean. Or lake or river. Or whatever it is. Ah, here it is. Right next to the fire. Sometimes objects are hidden on the ground. Okay. But... Spirit wood. Uh, drag the spirit wood onto the fire like this. Is that how you do it? It is. Ooh, now I got a big sparkly spirit fire. This is spirit wood. Where'd you get this? A ghost told me about it. Well, first of all, thank you. It's delicious. But the presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicion. The haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. They can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. They may not even remember who they are or how they died if enough time has elapsed since they passed away. Ah, that spirit wood is fully caught fire now. My light is expanding. Or the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see someone new. A crafter of useful things. Hmm, crafting. I could certainly use some crafting of some useful things. Say, that's a nice fire you have going. But it's still a bit small though, huh? See if you can find more spirit wood out there. A little warmth would do this island good. A healthy fire is sure to call some distant campers home. Okay. Oh, I got a whole big, a big, big, a big, big, a big, big thing. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can find some more spirit wood, maybe hiding behind these trees. Didn't see any hiding on the ground. There's some coins. I found four old coins. Cool. Okay, can I read another coin? Oh, disappeared completely. Okay.
There's a kite stuck in that tree. Okay, bird's nest. Oh, look at these little little duck things. Uh, hello, other bear. Oh, it's the swimming bear. Jeremy Gruffle. Oh, I guess you can see me now. So sorry, I figured I'd be invisible. You're sorry for what? For haunting a perfectly good island. The last thing I want is to drift around the afterlife glowing blue, getting in the way of upstanding folks like yourself. I'm totally going to forget all of these accents, so um, I hope you don't expect me to be consistent the whole time. <laughs> it's unseemly. Finally, I find out, who, out why I'm stuck here. I'm afraid I'll be haunting us both until. Maybe I can make it up to you, maker buddy. Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as ghosts go. Bring me three branches, okay? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Cool, so I need three branches. And I need more ghost wood for the ghost fire. Is there any ghost wood down on this beach? There's a life preserver. Another bird's nest. Bird skulls. Okay. My boat's gone, so that's that's good. Not getting back that way. Didn't have any provisions in there anyway, I guess. Oh, these little these little ones don't want to talk to me. They just disappear. Oh, I'm sorry, little ones. They're back. How about the ducks? No, they don't want me either. Okay, I need to find three branches. I think a branch would be too hard to find. Sorry if I've walked past 20 already. I haven't found... I haven't found another log either. Oh, I found an old coin again. Yeah, I don't have a shovel yet. I assume I'm going to get one soon. Um, but I have to find three branches first. Oh, fire! Fiery is getting so little. Hmm. I'm not having much luck with the branches, or the or the other ghost spirit log. Spirit scouts are diligent. Oh, I can collect coins for that? Cool. I need to remember to do that, I guess. It's kind of like in Animal Crossing, from what I understand. Check your quest log for a hint, or if you're really stuck, go to Charlotte Pine and get directions. Okay, what is my hint? It was near a folding chair. I sense someone has a log you're eager to give they're eager to give you if you can help them. Okay, so somebody has a log. It's none of these five. I've run them all off the screen now. Okay, so a near folding chair. Have I seen a folding chair? I don't think up here. There's a chair here. It doesn't seem to fold. Okay, here's... That's a folding chair. Definitely a folding chair. I don't see anything I can interact with, though. Okay. Um, is there... Is there one down on the beach? There's, there's a branch right there. That's definitely a branch. 
Okay, so that's a branch, and this is a branch. Okay, I just have to be... I just have to be more careful. They don't glow like the logs. And there's one near a folding chair. So I probably passed right by it and didn't notice. So I just have to go... Over near this folding chair. Do I see? I see a branch. Oh. Okay. Over here? No. Okay. Uh, up near this chair. Hmm. Okay. So those are the two folding chairs I've seen. I don't see branches particularly near them. There's one. Is that near a folding chair? Not, not really. Look at these sticks, what beauties! A twist here, a scoop there, and voila, your first shovel. Not my finest work, my paws keep slipping through the lathe. But if you want to dig up the soft dirt mounds around the island, that shovel will do the trick. Sea spirits, I've helped this poor scout. My haunting is complete. I'm still here, aren't I? Darn it. Darn it. One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well, don't worry. I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. Hope that shovel works out. Oh, and have a spirit log, too. Thanks. Well, look, they're more colorful now. Wooden shovel, story advance, spirit wood. Oh, these got these guys ones over here have all these skulls. Okay, pick up some money. Got a quartz gemstone. Okay, so this is the crafting area. Got these boneheads over here. Okay, so let's... Let's see. Got three quarts. Full. Um, we'll give you... Do, 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 do. Here's a log for you. Woo! <sighs> well done. My life is expanding again. I now see an old friend. Mr. Kit has noticed our beacon and set up his canteen shop. Oh, he looks quite at home here. But wait, there's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. And as he has arrived, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear. Let's go see for yourself. No, it wasn't all these holes I was supposed to dig up. Okay, so let's dig see what I got. I got a potato. What is that? A sweet potato? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is this thing? I got how many coins is that? One hundred. Hello? Hello, strange thing. Okay. Okay, so we finished the tutorial, and next time we're going to talk to Charlotte Pine some more and explore around. 
Um, I'm really enjoying this game so far. It's very cute. Um, it kind of reminds me of, um, what is that game? It's a survival game. I'm not going to remember what it is. I played it for a little while, but it's, it's too tough for me. This seems like it might be a bit easier. Um, I guess I'll find out. Um, but yeah, that's the end for this episode. And uh, if you liked what you watched, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!